Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be trying out the Revlon Candid Photo Ready Foundation. Uh, do you guys remember that Sesame Street character Forgetful Jones? If you do, it's time for some night cream. And if you don't, YouTube it. Just kidding. Um, I feel like I forgot, I forgot to do an intro for this video, I forgot to do a wear test, and then I did it the next couple days afterwards. Anyways, whatever, this video is going to be a mess. But, um, I tried out the, it says new, so new foundation. Uh, I'm wearing it today. I really, really, really like it. Um, I got it in the color 310 Butterscotch. Um... It says medium buildable coverage. I would agree to those claims. Uh, I probably would get it in a lighter color. I think it was a little bit too dark for my skin tone, but I do wear a lot of self tanner, so I feel like uh, I can make it work. Um, yeah, uh, if you guys haven't already, it would be so amazing if you could subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see, the uh, look that I did with the foundation, it's not this one, but if you guys want to see the video, then just keep watching. I'm going to go in with the foundation. I think it's a little dark for my skin, but because I do like to wear self-tanner so often, I like to get my foundations a little darker um, when I'm not wearing self tanner then I'll just use like a tinted moisturizer or something but I do like a darker foundation and I'll drag it all down my neck so I'm not too um not matching so I'm just gonna squeeze some out on my hand and I find it comes out it kind of has it's not too much of a warm color like which is good so when I have self tanner on and it's very um, golden you know that orangey undertone that a self tanner has this is nice because it has a more natural color so I feel like it kind of balances out the warmth in my skin and just makes a nice a nice skin tone and I really I find that so what really intrigued me to buy it well I saw um, someone testing it out on YouTube I think it was Shan XO I don't know um, I saw her testing it out and when I swatched it on my hand at the grocery store and then was rubbing my hand afterwards it just felt so soft like just so so smooth so I really really wanted to test it out so yeah it has a nice medium light coverage and it's not too dewy, it's not too matte, it's a really nice in-between foundation. It's like the best of both worlds. So yeah, you can see that it doesn't go too, um, too warm. But when I'm wearing this without any self tanner on, it's like really off. But I feel like I did kind of give one too many squirts with the self tanner on my face the other day, so my face is feeling a little bit. A little dark all right so this is the foundation I'm gonna turn off the light just because it's looking a lot lighter like that 
It's actually, my face looks actually a lot darker than it is. I'll turn the light back on because that looks nicer. But it does say <coughs> photo ready on it. And I feel like it's definitely a foundation, a great foundation for like video and pictures and stuff like it just gives such a nice nice finish so I'm going to continue with my makeup I'm going to do uh, the age instant age rewind by Maybelline for my concealer And just blend it through with my finger. Now I'm going to go in with my Tantour Huda Beauty in the color Light. And I'm just going to bring that down my neck. darken and I'm just going to do a little bit of contour today just because my skin already looks really tan so and I don't know I think this will be out this will probably be out after uh, the video that I do on the skin treatment that I get laser Genesis and I was talking about how uh, the texture of my skin how nice it's feeling and I definitely just notice when I'm putting my makeup on how much smoother it is going on so if you haven't seen that video check that one out and hopefully it's up before this one and if not be ready for it because it will be out shortly after. Okay, and now I'm going to set my under eye and jawline with the Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder. And I think I'm in the market for a new powder. I've been looking, I can't decide between like just getting the regular Laura Mercier setting powder or, sorry, I have a cold, or um, the Huda Beauty, one of her setting powders. Not sure yet which one I want, or if I should just try a drugstore one. Um, I used to use, oh, I'm really vegan. I used to use the elf one and I like that and I'm wondering if I just should just try like one of the loose setting powders by Maybelline or Revlon or I don't know I'll just have to keep on doing my research it's nice I like these from Sephora um, that you can just get the smaller ones just because I feel like my husband's calling me. Sorry, I do these on my phone, so I get calls and texts sometimes on here. Um, I will upgrade to a camera once I feel like, you know, this is something I'm going to continue doing and I'm doing really well at it. So right now I'm just going with the camera or the phone camera, so bear with me there. Um, so yes, we are set. And now we will fluff that off. So I'm just going to keep it simple with the rest of my face for today. And I'm just going to go in with the Pixie uh, Summertime Bronzer for the rest of my face. Just because it has like a really nice glow to it. And 
instead of going with a blush and a highlighter, I will just do this to add some color and shine, I guess. I guess that's what a highlighter does. Add it down my neck. For my eyes, I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm going to go in with the Pixie um, Mixed Metals palette. And I'm all I'm going to use is this gold shade right here. Kind of tie in with my sweater and fall. And I'm just going to sweep that all over the eyelid. Drag it out a bit. And then I'm just gonna take the Hula Bronzer and an angled brush and just sweep that under my lash line. And then drag it out a little bit as well. I find for with the shape of my eyes because they are um, I guess more deep set, you could say. I don't like to wear too much eyeshadow. I just find that they just that just accentuates like their depth and they just look deeper. So I just like to keep it light on the eyes. Most days I don't wear anything on my eyes. I'm not a huge eyeshadow person. But I think that it's nice and light and just keeps from creating too many um, shadows. I already have, like some people don't have a strong crease line and they use a darker shade to give themselves a crease. But I have a very strong crease so I don't need to add anything there. So yeah, I'm going to continue on with my eye makeup. I'm just going to tight line and mascara off camera and then I will be back. Alright, I lied. I did my lips off camera as well. Um, I used the little mini Kylie Jenner lip kit in the color charm and it's a velvet and I put Vaseline on beforehand because my lips are kind of dry and these can be really drying. So yes, um, the Revlon color foundation that I got was 310 Butterscotch if that helps at all. I will do a six to eight hour check-in to see how the foundation is holding up so yes this is the look thank you guys for watching um i will see you guys again at the end in six to eight hours and if not in my next video okay so yesterday i totally forgot to do a six to eight hour check-in on the foundation so I put it on the same way again today uh, just kind of switched up my eye makeup and lip makeup a bit but I put uh, the foundation on the same so I will check in later on in the day to see how it is holding up all right, so it's been about seven hours, I would say, since I applied uh, the foundation and it just has worn really nice. I really, really love uh, the finish on it. It's just such a creamy, in-between matte and dewy finish and I think that's my favorite part about it. So yes, this is the wear test. This is how my skin looks um, seven hours later. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video and I will see you guys again soon.